All right, welcome back. You're watching Morning Cafe on TV 47. Now we continue getting updates from around the country. We now want to go straight to Elgeo Marakwet, where Dan Kanmutua is present to bring us up to speed with what's happening uh, with regard to preparations for the burial ceremony of Kelvin Kiptum, uh, the men's world marathon record holder who's being laid to rest today. Um, the president is expected uh, to grace that occasion. So Dan, can a very good morning to you. Uh, tell us what's happening where you are. Good morning, Fred and Muli. We are at Chep Corio. Uh, we are at the Chep Corio here at El Gayo, Maracuet County, where the funeral service of the record marathon holder, that is uh, Kevin Kiptum, will be held here. And as you can see, um, straight away, let me just take, take you straight away. Among the ding dignitaries who, are, who we are expecting is President uh, President William Ruto. But currently, I'm joined by Gladys. I'm joined by uh, Boss Shule, who will be telling us. So, um, much about this day what does this day really mean to kenyans and immediately before i show you around what we are expecting let me just engage her to tell us more about and it's very early in the morning it's kind of freezing here welcome to tv 47 sad day for kenyans sad day for athletics world um any word to kenyans yeah this is a sad moment for us uh, but we're just praying that we shall have the strength to go through it it's been very tragic very difficult a week for everyone, particularly the family. But at least I'm informed today the mother is slightly stronger than she was when I last saw her. And we are hoping that we'll, they'll have the strength to get through it. I've just visited uh, the burial site. Everything is ready and we thank the government for that. And uh, we are, I just want to head out to Chepsamoy, the village, which turns out to be also my home village. It's my grandfather's home and then come back here with them. I understand you know more details on uh, what time will the, the President William Bruto, uh, or, or what time should we expect President William Bruto to arrive at the same? The estimated time for arrival is 10 a.m. as we were informed, but unless something else changes. Right, thank you. Um, uh, that is Boshule giving us just an update of, uh, on an update of what we are expecting here at uh, Chepkorio. This is where the um, this is where uh, this is where um, uh, the funeral service will be held. But the burial ceremony or the, the Kiptum, the Kevin Kiptum will, bar will be buried um, somewhere uh, somewhere else, not in Chepkorio at Naiberi or at Naiberi where the government built him the new home. And if I can show you around, I can just show you around on. Um, on you can see at the, uh, the far end there, that's where the athletes or uh, the athletes who are training with Eli, uh, who are training with Kevin Kiptum, that's where they will be sitting. We are expecting some, be, uh, we are expecting the us and us in the marathon world. We are expecting the likes of Faith Kipiegot, who we saw yesterday during the uh body viewing ceremony. On this other side, or uh, on this other side. This is where the citizen, um, I'm going to say the Kenyans, uh, also the friends of the family will be sitting there. And on the far hand, as you can see, on the other far hand there, there, on the other side of the, uh, that, on the other side there, that's where the president and the dignitaries will be sitting. We are expecting the body of, um, we are expecting the body of Kevin uh, Kiptum to, ju to be arriving just a moment from now because the, it, from now and the family of the of the late uh kiptum will be on the will be sitting on the other side as you can see preparation are currently uh, as you can see preparation are currently going on people are streaming in people are streaming in to witness this day it's really a sad day as uh boss shule stated it's really a sad day because you are speaking of um Kevin Kiptum, our world marathon record holder, after he clocked two after he clocked two hours thirty five seconds in Chicago, and I can remember if I can take you back when he clocked uh, uh, when he when he broke that Eliud Kipchoge's record. I remember when I was uh, during the welcoming home, homecoming ceremony, we started at JKIA, and then later on he was um, he was received by um, uh, he was received by the Minister of Sports, uh, Habagu Namwamba, at um, Western Hotel. Later on, on the, uh, uh, later on, a few days after breaking the, uh, the record, again, he went back to his village where they held a big, uh, where they held a big ceremony welcoming the champion. But now, I, I'm, I'm lucky enough, uh, Indimuli and the viewer back at home, I'm lucky enough that I've, uh, I've interacted with him. He was such a silent guy. 
never it was never um let me say uh just silent he was always keeping it calm and he was aiming to break uh, not only to break but even to run under two hour barrier that uh, everyone has been chasing today we are where we are currently is chapkorio where the funeral service would be um, uh, where the funeral service is expected to start minutes from now president william bruto will be among the leaders who will grace this uh, um, barrier ceremony Freddie Dimuli, I'm going to take back to you in studio. Later on, we'll be, we will keep updating you on what is happening here at Jep, Jep Korea area. Back to you. Thank you so much, uh, Duncan Mutua, my colleague, uh, bringing us up to speed with what's happening at Jep Korea in uh, Elgeo Marakwet County, where the funeral service of, for the late Kelvin Kiptum will be held ahead of the burial later at Naiberi uh, Village. Um, my colleague Stanley is on standby and will be conducting an interview with K4, K4 and Mr. K4 uh, later on. Do stand by for that. It is a feel-good Friday.